Welcome back to another two review from Amps and Octane. I'm Mo, and I want to show you guys this today. Three things I love it. First, it's gadgety. Second, it's green. And third, the price point was pretty decent on it actually for what it promises to deliver. So, what we have here is the Eagle 3200 PSI pressure washer that they just came out with. Um, it's your run of the mill pressure washer, but it does it all cordlessly. Uh, in addition to that, it also can run out of a bucket. There's a siphon tube included with it with a filter on the end. So you can just dump that into a bucket and suck water out of a bucket instead of using pressurized water from a hose. So if you're somewhere remote or you just need to go somewhere quick and don't want to drag a hose out, you can uh, just take this to the back 40 and with a little of a bucket and you're good to go. So as far as specs, this is the, um, the toolless model. You can get it with two batteries and a charger for about a thousand, uh, talking Canadian here, or 600 bucks toolless. So I got the toolless version because I already have a snowblower, the lawnmower, and a few other things. Um, so I don't need more batteries or chargers kicking around. I have plenty for, for running all these devices. Um, yeah. Nice, nice unit. I've uh, got really good reviews online that I've seen so far. Um, I want to show you one thing. There is a barcode on the box. You scan that and you use uh, their app and you can register all your devices on there, which is super handy. So here's the pressure washer. You can upload your receipt in there. Uh, available accessories you can get for it. Uh, equipment info, there's a manual here, your warranty. So it's a, it's a really, really handy place just to take care of your warranties and, and to have just to have the manual on hand because how many times have you lost that little piece of paper and then we're digging around trying to find it or look on the internet and try to download one. So uh, I'm super excited to give this a shot. So um, I'll get it out of the box here and we'll take a closer look at it. Okay, so I've gone ahead and taken everything out of the box here. We've of course got the main uh, unit. We've got the high pressure hose. And we'll have to figure out how long this is after we unravel it outside. So it doesn't say in the instructions. We've got the gun itself. Uh, the metal extension. Insulated handle extension. Even a soap cannon, which looks to be pretty decent quality. Has adjustable uh, angle for vertical or horizontal, as well as uh, adjustable amount of soap. So yeah, this should work pretty good. We of course got the instruction manual, um, a guide on which tips to use, and there are four tips included plus a uh, a um, rinsing nozzle. So I guess five. So if you've got your 15 degree. There's a 25 degree white 40, which is your generic nozzle. There's a turbo nozzle and a rinsing nozzle. And they're all quick disconnect. So one thing to be careful of is uh, this thing does deliver quite a bit of pressure. So be careful what nozzles you choose. Um, extreme caution on the narrower nozzles. I wouldn't use this on a car. It says it can damage wood and soft surfaces. Um, this one here, the 25, can damage certain surfaces. And here the 40 is your generic regular old nozzle and it says uh, rinsing and light cleaning, car, boat, RV washing, window and glass cleaning, cleaning outdoor furniture. If you're unsure which nozzle to use, start here and work up. So that's probably pretty good advice. Uh, there's a, also a turbo one here which uh, says 
use extreme caution can damage wood and soft surfaces. So probably avoid these outer two on your vehicle and just stick with the 40 and for tough cleaning do 25. And then the rinsing nozzles just for, uh, for rinsing off. Delivers a lot of, lot of water without too much pressure. So nice little guide to keep. This other hose is the siphon hose they include. So this can connect right up here to the water intake and they give you this little filtered uh, siphon. Clicks in here and now you can drop this into a bucket and just use the water right out of the bucket. So that is really cool. As far as assembly goes, the only thing we need to do is attach these two holders, this four screws here. Um, Phillips, so I'll go ahead and slap those on real quick here. Okay. So the gun itself, of course, has a nice quick disconnect on it. Snap it in, it's locked in place. To release, <laughs> watch yourself because I already shot this across the room. You pull back on this, it shoots it out of there. It's under spring tension, so careful with that. If, you're, if you've got a tip in here or the gun in here, don't be pointing at your car when you pull this back or you're gonna be shooting an arrow at your car, possibly scratching it. So the handle assembles like so to give you the full length wand. Very light, surprisingly light, but feels very well built. If we look at the top of the handle, this will display your current battery state in five segments. Five being fully charged, of course, they light up green and then dissipate. Um, the, you can set three uh, power levels on this also, low, high, and turbo. Um, you can pick your speed by just clicking the button down here, which is really handy for adjusting it on the fly. And if you double, I think you, yeah, it's super turbo. There's also a, um, a turbo mode, which uh, puts out more pressure. Uh, but they, of course, the more you use, the less battery time you're going to have, but that's always the drawback. Okay, here's the uh, approximate run times with each uh, mode and with each kind of battery. So, uh, pretty decent. So, on, on minimum, with the biggest batteries you can get in it, you can get two hours out of this. If you run it on high pressure, it's an hour, 60 minutes. If you use turbo mode, 30 minutes runtime, which is more than enough for most jobs. And if you run out of that, you just slap the next set of batteries in it if you have another set. As far as warranty goes, the warranty is really good. So limited warranty, five years uh, for normal consumer use, one year for professional use. And then... Um, five years on the batteries. So really good warranties there. This is where you would load the batteries into the unit. There's two banks here with catches here to release the batteries again, same as all their other tools. It's waterproof cover. There's a power button to turn it on here as well as speed buttons on here. Once this is turned on, there's a battery inside the handle here, which synchronizes with the main unit, and then you can control everything from the wand as well, which is super handy. Other than that, there's not much really to show you here. There's some ties here for the hose to get stored back here. You can tie it into place. And yeah, nice holder for the handle. Um, and also on top. 
is a nice spot right on top to store all the nozzles, which is also very good. The handle has a release and you can extend it to make it easier to carry to go pull around. You see that even? Maybe not. It goes it's a pretty tall handle. <laughs> The wheels, they're not inflated, but they feel like kind of a rubberized plastic, which is, I mean, good enough. Who, who really cares? So next, we'll take this outside and actually give it a test run. As long as it doesn't rain. I guess we're gonna get wet anyways. I'll see you guys outside. Okay, so here's the uh, high pressure hose for the wand. It's not bad, pretty flexible, feels pretty heavy duty. 3200 PSI max. Hmm. We were going to see how long this thing was, so I'm going to go roll this out and we'll take a measurement. So here's the 25 foot mark on the tape measure. So, I, I see the actual hose part is 25 feet plus the connectors at the end. So, you're a little shy of 26 feet, including the connectors, which is pretty usable length. All right, so we're hooked up to the hose here. I've got the high pressure line hooked up to the gun. And uh, this is my first time putting the batteries in. So, we'll see, I'm just running the 10 hour. 10 and a half hour ones from Snowblower. Should work just fine. They're charged up. Okay, the power. Okay. the get-go it looks like the gun is already uh, synced with the uh, the unit if I hit the uh, if I hit the button we're in turbo right now there's low and I don't know if you guys can see it or not it's changing on the display on here as well I'll take you in There's low, high, turbo, and it's changing on the other unit. Or you can change it from down here as well. This will also show you the uh, battery level, which you see through the lid as well. So, this gun feels really nice in your hand. So does this trigger. There is a lock as well so you won't accidentally go blasting off and I think we're going to attach the uh, rinse nozzle went down the car first and then we'll try the foam cannon nozzle goes directly on the gun. Forgot about that. Give it a tug test. Make sure it's not going to fly off and hit your car. All right, let's go wet this thing down.
Initial impressions? It's it's quiet. I mean, that was just a rinse and all. There's, there's no real pressure. It's just spitting out hose pressure a little more. Um, I did turn it up out to high there for the last part of it. The first few seconds were on low. Um, but really, you don't need you don't need pressure to rinse. It's just putting water on the car. So I'm gonna switch. Uh, I actually get a lot of dust and dirt and grime on this car from sitting outside all winter. So unfortunately, I don't know. So I'm gonna switch to the um, the uh, wide nozzle. We'll try out the 40 degree tip here, the black one, and we'll uh, spray off most of the grime. Once we get that off, then we'll try the foam cannon out. And I don't want to start scrubbing the soap into a bunch of dirt. So these are really nice rubber coated tips too. So if you accidentally touch whatever you're washing, it's not going to put a scratch in it, which I really appreciate. That's nice. All right, let's get this tip on and hose it off. I'm going to try it on low first, see how that does. Try medium, or sorry, high. That did pretty good. That, that feels about similar to what you get at a, a wanted car wash. So we're still in the high setting. You can see all the grime on the wheel here. I think I just missed that one. But took off a lot of it. Let's see if we can get a little more on high on uh, turbo mode. Okay.
Okay. That, I can definitely tell you, exceeded the pressure at my local one car wash. Still, a bunch of brake dust here that didn't come off with that. So, you can see my finger mark here now where I've manually scrubbed it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the other tip, just on the wheels, not the car, obviously, because it's too much, too much for that. But let's take this 40 off. We'll try the, we'll try the 25 on the wheels. Still on turbo mode. better there's still some you can see down here let's try that last tip the one that's not recommended 15 degrees so this this we got to be a little careful on I'm gonna switch back to high just because I'm a little worried about the paint here. Okay, here we go. That took off considerably more than the last time, for sure. Let's, let's look at this one here now and try it on high on turbo. What the heck? Here we go. That took off probably 80 to 90 percent of the brake dust off the wheel and look what it did on the barrel it cleaned up the barrel and those those are hard to clean I, it's hard to get in here and regularly clean them so I, I tend to be lazy and just do the outside um, I really need to take the wheels off to clean the the barrels this this spring but like the brakes are huge in this thing there's no there's no getting in there unless you're you know can rotate the wheel and clean with a brush in there but I'm gonna take them off this spring and do a thorough clean. But I, I am impressed with that. I'm gonna do the rest of this wheel and then I'll take, take you guys back to it. Shined up considerably. If we look at this other side where we just did the regular, there's a lot of dirt left on this one. All right, I don't want to bore you guys with cleaning the whole car here, so let's try out the foam cannon. So, how many of you guys use the uh, Chemical guys cleaning products. This uh, 
foam. It's called Snow Foam Auto Wash. It's um, honeydew, and wow, it smells. It smells like honeydew. It, it makes the job a lot more pleasant. So I've put two ounces in here with some warm water, filled up the foam cannon. Um, we can adjust the spray pattern on the front of it. So I'm probably going to go with vertical. And uh, you can also control how much soap you get. So right now we're on the lowest setting. We'll start, we'll start with that. Okay, I go directly on the gun and I'm going to start the nanoscience, the lowest setting and the lowest soap dispensing setting. So let's give that a whirl. Not bad, but I'm going to try a little more pressure here. Let's try it on high. It's pretty decent coverage. Let's just try it on turbo, just see what the difference will be. Turbo mode. Okay, that came out pretty decent actually. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with that, but I'm gonna crank this thing up to high just to see how much we get out of here. Wow, that's what we want. Check this out. Unfortunately, high uses a ton of soap, but I don't care who you are, that's, that never gets old, that's fun. <sighs> We're going to go fill up this soap again. We'll probably just use medium or low setting next time, but i got to go put some more soap in and finish this off. <laughs> Be right back. Okay. So I've mixed up another, just a half batch. This is one thing I really like about the soap can. It's just a quarter turn. It's no, you don't screw around, screw anything. It's nice, handy. It's the little things. Okay, let's rinse this off with the uh, 40 tip. I think I'll uh, just use the high setting. That seems to be plenty.
Well, that did a really nice job actually, quite thorough. Got most of the bug guts off even. Cleaned up pretty good for just a quick wash job for a few minutes spent. Okay, I just wanted to try out this turbo nozzle. So I've got I've got it attached here, and then I'm gonna put it on turbo mode, and we'll see see what that does. black gunk off. You can see this one spins around as it's running inside there. Makes a vortex type water flow. Pretty cool. Great for cleaning off the deck or something. So one of the things I really like about this is just how quiet this thing is. So let's turn it on and I'll put the uh, Put the 40 tip on, the most common one. And we're on low. And I'll go I'll go run the wand. So about 65 decimal decibels we hit there. I'll switch to a uh, high. About 65 decibels. And turbo. I think we hit about 69 there. That's pretty impressive. This thing's quiet. It's like a, a really good quality little handheld vacuum is what it really sounds like. It's super quiet. Doesn't annoy the neighbors. My dog loves it because he's a scaredy cat and he doesn't like little gas engines. He'll run and hide and climb under my desk if he hears one fire up. So I'm sure he's appreciating this immensely right now. So there you go, I think we've tried everything. If you guys want to see anything else, let me know and I'll uh, I'll try it and shoot it down in the comments for you guys. Just want to show you guys where the battery devil's at. We've got three bars in one battery and two in the other. After all that monkeying around and washing and playing and testing. So yeah, not bad. All right guys, it's time to tally up the scores on this pressure washer. In terms of product quality, this thing is really well put together. I, I have no doubt that it's going to last throughout the five year period of the warranty period on it. Um, yeah, excellent build quality. We're gonna give this five wrenches. Ease of use and features. I mean, this thing is fantastic. You hit the trigger and it runs. There's no starting, there's no getting gasoline. This is, this is about the easiest tool you can have for a pressure washer. It's, same as same as other cordless tools, it's just no messing around. And I really, really appreciate the controls on the wand itself. That is very handy, not having to go back to the pressure washer to adjust the pressure to uh, wash certain things with different pressures. As far as performance, 
man, this thing outdid my local car wash uh, in the turbo mode. I believe the high mode felt felt very similar to the local car wash I usually visit. So, yeah, performance, fantastic. The soap can and also that they include, great, great dispenser. In terms of value, uh, when you factor in all the things you get with this, including the soap can and throwing in the siphon for the bucket, all the tips that come with it, which I mean, I guess normally most pressure washers will, but um, yeah, it, it had a lot, uh, a lot to offer. Um, can you buy a similar performance pressure washer for the same price? Yes. Um, if you start looking at electric ones, they can be a little cheaper, but they're going to be around 16 to 1800 PSI. The gas ones will get you to 3200 and above for sure. But they're the ones I checked out at Lowe's and Home Depot were around a thousand dollars up for a decent one. Uh, this thing was a thousand Canadian with batteries and charger. Uh, I happened to buy the six hundred dollar version though without the battery and charger. Um, so if you're comparing apples to apples and you buy the full package, if you don't already have the other ecosystem of Ego Tools, then then it's it's on par to a gas one. But if you already have the batteries and charger, then that you buy the tool only. That's that's really where the value shines in this unit. So uh, do that. I'm going to give it four out of five on this category just because it's the price isn't anything special unless you get the tool only. All right. Well, there you have it. It's no surprise that we're big fans of the uh, Ego line of cordless tools and there's good reason for that they where they really shine is their battery packs and chargers but they actually make a heck of a good dependable tool that goes with those and I uh, haven't had any issues with any of the equipment of theirs that I've purchased so far so I, I, I tend to always sort of speak highly of this brand but uh, that's why I've had really good results with them so I don't think you'll uh have any kind of regrets for, for purchasing this tool. Um, and I'm, I'm very glad uh, to have it and I'm looking forward to using it some more. Thanks very much for tuning in and we appreciate you very much.